My name is Bob Craven. I'm a volunteer mentor with the Character Does Matter program with the Travis Manion Foundation. In February 2006, my son Scott Craven, a U.S. Air Force instructor pilot in southern Georgia, died in an accident. In, in our society, we, we live through this stuff and, and we are used to family members dying, but family by family members, I mean the, either a sibling, a parent, grandparents, we're used to that. We know that's gonna happen. But when you lose a child, um, nobody prepares you for that. And it's such a void. It is difficult to, to talk about it as, as much as I, I do. I mean, it, it hurts every time you, I speak to anyone about Scott, um, as much as I love him and respected him. He, uh, he was my son. You're never supposed to, to lose your son. You're not supposed to bury your son. But that also is a teaching point for, the, for this young adults nowadays. You know, whatever you think is the norm may not be. For years after Scott's passing, I wasn't actively searching for something to do. I always had something to do, but I eventually got into more into volunteer work uh, and, and was very fortunate to be invited into the Travis Manion Foundation and the Character Does Matter program. I began to be involved at Conway Catholic High School about five years ago. We were doing Character Does Matter presentations initially, and now we've transitioned into the character courses. Last year, Caitlin Egan was one of the students in our character course. When I first met him, he is like the kind of guy when you when you first meet him, you see him and it's like, to me, he was very like strict to me, but I got to learn about him more and know him more as a person. He is a caring person. He cares about everything he does. He cares for people. He goes about his life doing things for others more than himself. And he goes out of his way to help any of his friends or anyone that needs his help. I think the big thing about, about Caitlin uh, in comparison to her peers is that quiet confidence and that quiet leadership. Uh, she can lead without a lot of people knowing she's the leader. You know, there's freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors that are represented in the character does matter over Conwell Egan. And she was able to connect them, um, them all. So there's a hierarchy in high school, right? And she was able to uh, put together a group chat and made sure that everybody was included, even the quiet freshmen that didn't maybe want to speak up. She encouraged them through her leadership skills to get their ideas on the Operation Legacy Project and what they wanted to do. That's how the Scott Craven Memorial came to fruition. I ended up being the group leader. I helped with the like the service project, the planning of the service project. Um, I ended up getting really close with Bob and Connie, talking to them before and after the meetings, getting to know them for like who they are and not just as like the mentors of TMF. And they really helped me like become me. My most memorable moment at Conway, and I've been there for a few years now. Um, would have to be that graduation when they dedicated the garden to, to Scott. Um, took my breath away. We first told Bob that we were doing that at our graduation and we gave it to him and he was so grateful and so thankful and it really put like a smile on all of like my and my group's faces when we saw how happy he was that we did that for him. He was speechless, you know. Um, he actually cried on stage, which I love that vulnerability, you know, just just him tearing up, knowing that his son um, really had an impact, you know, um, on people that he never met, you know. He had an impact on me and his story has an impact on me. And to value that in a memorial is priceless. I wish that I found TMF earlier in my life because I think I would have learned how to be more open, be more me to people. Not so much of like hid away in the background of like things that I did and more of been myself and stepped out of the way to do things for others throughout like my high school and could have grown and be a better person now instead of starting just last year and like moving forward now. They look up to veterans and think that 
were impenetrable. But Bob showing his vulnerability, I think, allows other people to explore their own vulnerabilities. And I could see that through Caitlin's relationship with Bob. Um, it inspires me to be a little bit more vulnerable, and I can tell that it inspired Caitlin to be a little bit more vulnerable. They shared that their stories, their hardships, and the way that they went through life, and the hard times, and the good times, and the way that they were able to just share that with complete strangers that they just met really showed me like how well you can connect with people if you actually open up to them, like even strangers. Like I felt connected with them the first time that we had a meeting and I didn't even know them before. Being a part of the Character Does Matter program gives me purpose and value. You know, it's hard as a veteran when, you, when you're discharged from the military or when you retire and that's all you know. It can sometimes be hard to find value. And this gives me value.